And now to a story that's new tonight from downtown Washington. A little earlier, we mentioned that gun bill passed by the House. Well, that action led hundreds to gather for a vigil honoring victims of gun violence. We get more on that from Marcella Robertson. St. Mark's Episcopal Church here on Capitol Hill was packed tonight. The seats filled with those directly impacted by gun violence. On their minds tonight, some of their loved ones who were killed in some of the deadliest mass shootings in U.S. history. It feels disheartening. It feels heartbreaking. It feels just frustrating, incredibly frustrating. There's so much emotion and grief inside, um, but also a lot of hope. The vigil happening just blocks from where lawmakers decided today to approve a bill that boosts the background check system for guns, but also makes it easier for gun owners to carry concealed weapons across state lines. Republicans call it a win for gun owners. Two months after the deadliest shooting in U.S. history, those who came to mourn loved ones tonight disagree. It just makes me very angry because every state should be allowed to have their own concealed carry laws. Yeah, choosing this time was... I think despicable and any time's a bad time, honestly, um, to choose laws that go against common sense regulations. Um, it's time for basic protection of all of us and um, yeah, I, I, I think a lot of people were upset by that. The bill still faces the challenge of making it through the Senate. In the district, Marcella Robertson, WUSA 9. There was